it to be a dog, but it is. <laughs> um, so, everything but Manhattan is residential. It's, so people know that it doesn't look like your typical image. There are no skyscrapers there. It's mostly houses. It's close to the ground. Um, it looks like ground, kind of. <laughs> It's a little bit dirtier. A lot dirtier. <laughs> um, usually when people talk about the city, they'll, they mean Manhattan, because it's where all the life happens. Manhattan is sort of divided into three areas, downtown, midtown, uptown. Uh, Columbia is uptown, here. <laughs> <laughs> um, downtown is, is Wall Street, I'm sure you've heard of Wall Street. It's the stock exchange, the crazy people in suits who yell things and sell <laughs> stocks. And then, yeah, they're crazy. They work nearly 24 hours a day, I think. Um, also downtown is Greenwich Village, which is sort of a very alternative place to be. A lot of weird people hang out there. <laughs> and that's where all the bars and clubs are. And it's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's very colorful. Um, we have Central Park, which we're proud of, or at least I think it's one of the few green places in the city. We don't have a lot of trees and a lot of grass, so mm -hmm. Central Park is a very nice place to be. Um, Uptown is where our school is, as she <laughs> mentioned before. Everything, the buildings are also a little bit smaller up there. It. Um, it has an old, a bit of an older feel. It's quieter. It's a lot of families live there. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like a bubble where we live. It's like it's, it's I don't know. It's like it's more it's safer there. It's, I feel like it's safer. But um, okay. Yeah, I guess around Columbia there is an area called Harlem which is a predominantly black area, and it's known to be a little bit more dangerous than one would like. <laughs> and Technically, I guess Columbia is in Harlem, but because the university has been there for a long time, it's very safe, and they've sort of taken over the area and cleaned it up. But if you go a little bit further uptown, not so good an idea. <laughs> and the Bronx is not as dangerous as people like to think. Not everyone is armed and with guns and things like that. And it's where the Yankees are, the baseball team. Mm -hmm. yes. The Yankees and the Mets are the two big baseball teams of New York. Kind of like Athletic and Real Madrid. <laughs> um, so there's some very, very good and expensive areas in the Bronx, actually. And you can't really afford to live there. Well, normal people can't afford to live there. Um, what else do you want to say? You can see we have lots of trains. The subway. It's the most confusing thing in the world, I think, especially if you've never been there before, and it rarely runs <laughs> as it's supposed to. <laughs> the subway is 100 years old, I think 101 this year, and it looks it, and it smells it. <laughs> and they constantly do construction, so they change things around, and trains rarely run where they're supposed to go, they skip stops, and God knows how you get places. But yeah, um, what's typical of New York is we have areas where it's, it's not really segregated, but people like to congregate in different areas. So in Brooklyn, close to kind of where my parents live, there is a very, very Russian area. And it's, when you go there, it's like you're in Russian. All the stores, the, the names and the awnings are in Russian. People don't speak English, and I think it's probably the most annoying thing in the world when you go into a store and you want to buy something and you can't because they don't know what you're saying. <laughs> but yeah. Um, and there are other areas like that, like Chinatown, yeah. which we had in our movie, um, which you can buy. And then Little Italy, which is like Italian people. Little Italy is tiny. It's like four blocks in downtown Manhattan. But Queens has a very Greek area. And I think a lot of Asian Queens. There, there are a lot of different areas um, in the city. Everything feels different wherever you go. Mm -hmm. I have some pictures that I want to show you. and I don't think I want to go through the whole book because it'll take forever. But if you guys want to see it afterwards, you're certainly welcome to it. 
So this is sort of what New York looks like at night. And you can see it's an old picture because the Twin Towers are still up. <laughs> um, this is Radio City Music Hall. It's where a lot of, can you guys see? Yeah. It's where a lot of the Christmas performances take place. And um, the Rockettes, I don't know if you know. Do you know the Rockettes? They do the high kicks. But yeah, this is sort of like a very typical thing of New York. Uh, this is Rockefeller Center. During the winter, they put a very, very large Christmas tree up, and they have all the lights and the little angels. And down at the bottom, kind of in front of the tree, there's an ice skating ring. And you can go and skate there. Anyone can go and skate there. And it's usually very crowded and very embarrassing because if you fall, the whole world is watching you. <laughs> and there's also a restaurant right behind it, so everyone's really watching you. <laughs> People just sort of hanging up there. This is Times Square. It's probably what you've seen in movies and things like that. It's always very well lit. Um, this is where the ball drops at Christmas. New Year's. New Year's, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, this is sort of a very typical thing. Have McDonald's, naturally, because McDonald's is everywhere. Um, These are very like touristy areas. Like usually, like we live in New York and we don't really go to those places often, but like when people come to visit, they usually see this thing. They say like what well, New York is known for. Yeah, and also around 42nd Street and Broadway's where all the musicals are. And there's tons of them, and they're a lot of fun. This is Central Park nice and quiet and green and I love it. Um, this is the pond. So here in, during the summer you can rent a boat and row. It's really neat. Um, and this is the Statue of Liberty, which is I think officially in New Jersey. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah there, was, <laughs> there was a big argument about state borders and where the statue actually is and the license plates of New York City of the cars used to have the statue and then they decided that the statue is actually in New Jersey so they had to go and change all the license plates <laughs> but everybody still thinks of the Statue of Liberty as New York yeah and then I guess around the statue there's an island called Ellis Island and they don't use it anymore but in the olden days it's when where all the immigrants used to come and they'd get their medical exam there and they decide whether they'd let them in or send them back and things like that. So it's also really neat. It looks kind of old, although nothing in the United States is really old. <laughs> the country is fairly new. Um, yeah. Do you guys have any questions? Anything you want to know?